Hey, um, this is a continuation video of my previous video that I put out regarding uh, blend shapes and how to use facial mocap on your characters that uh, does have blend shapes available. This one specifically for Robert asking how to combine the facial blend shapes, uh, facial capture and body animation. Um, so I had an idea to do that, but I actually found a much simpler way to do it. Um, I'm going to let this animation play. This is the one I actually finally figured out. Um, so in this case, you'll see the uh, face moving, um, and then I put like an idle um, animation on this, um, and we put two animations. So one is the face, and then one is the body. So the problem usually is, and there's one I've always been struggling, is that um, you have specific weighting on these animations. So um, in this case, each one has got equal weighting. Um, and then usually that causes that um, because they've got equal weighting that my facial and my um, my body animation only use 50% of the animation. So the mouth will only open 50%, the eyes will only move 50%, and same with the body. Because my facial animation doesn't have any body animation, that kind of cancels it out. So that is the issue I'm having. So the solution was going to be to create a blueprint and split the face specifically and the body specifically. But after some investigation found an easier way. Let me show you. So I'm happy with this um, and I thought like, let me just quickly create a video on somebody else. So in this case I'm going to use uh, my priest character who's also got uh, the same uh, blend, sa blend shape function and this is how you do it. So you import your characters, got the feature. Um, I'm going to pull the only the head and we need to record the facial animation on the head only. You should be able to do it on a, on a normal body, uh, but I prefer the head. I prefer to separate them. So I'm going to use the head only. I'm going to take my um, live link recording um, and I'm going to put it in sequencer. I'll show you how to do it now. And I'm first going to record the facial animation. So we go into the animation uh, function. We click on preview controller, make sure that's in live link. And then you'll be able to select your um, your 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 live link recordings or your slate. Um, you then have to press record there at the bottom um, and, and and save the, the new recording animation. So um, as I mentioned previously, so I just want the priest, <laughs> I just want the priest head. So I'm looking for that. Uh, it just makes my life easier, so I don't get anything confused. Uh, so and I'll start my recording uh, now. I then go into my sequencer with the uh, live link recording. Um, so I use the old live link recording and I play it. So you'll see nothing here, but on uh, where I'm busy recording my animation, you'll see the head move. So I'll let that play out. And again, it's an old recording, so it's just to show you how it works. So yes, that looks good enough. So let me stop it there. As I explained previously about the, the waiting, we must actually make sure that no, there is no waiting applicable. So that's actually the key for the thing here. So I'll just show you how to do that. So we search now for the recorded animation, which you'll see there. Um, I'm searching for it now. And there's my recording. So you'll see I only recorded the head, but actually um, the whole uh, priest <laughs> is there. Um, but then here is the most important part. So you'll see here under uh, additive settings, when you open your animation, uh, under additive settings, make sure it's in local space. Um, and save that. So in this case, I'm going to put on an animation where there's no facial movement at all. So I do have some animations here, some of those animations. I want to put it on an idle one as well. Um, so I'm actually going to retarget that uh, onto my, my priest mesh. So that one looks good to me. It's just to show you that the body moves independently and the face moving independently, but together they make up the, the whole character. So I'm saving this retargeted animation. I'm doing this all in Unreal 5.4. So you see there's my idle animation. And again, we make sure that the um, that animation is saved under additive. Uh, so under additive settings, additive animation type, 
we put it on local space. So that's the most important part. Save it. Okay, so now we're going to put it in sequencer. Um, so you'll see I'll put the head animation separately with the body animation and together it will make a complete uh, animation where the face carries all the animation um, and the body carries the other animation. So uh, the face got its own weighting and the body's got its own weighting. Or this, there's no interference at all. So there's my head. So yeah, due to the recording, I'm starting a bit late. I need to scale this down so you'll see that it finally starts. So you can just scale down the recording um, to where it starts. So in, in this case, um, for some reason, mine didn't want to uh, scale down. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to move this to starting point to uh, to where it actually starts. So you'll see that I'm just extending the scene. And in starting with the action animation starts, so I'll, I'll miss that whole part. There, it looks good. And then at the same spot, we put in the idle animation. There's my idle. And then as you can see, my face moves independently from the body. There's no waiting interference at all. And that's how you add animation to your uh, facial capture um, using blend shapes. Um, so yeah, no blueprint necessary, nothing like that. So it's actually quite simple. Just with that one additive selection that I showed you in the um, shooting animation section, and you can get this full animation. And then now I'm also going to show you uh, when you're happy with your animation, you can actually save this whole animation as a single uh, single one to use later. So let me show you how to do that. So the next step we do is we select, uh, we click on the mesh, we say bake animation sequence, and then you can save it wherever you want, um, and then just uh, give it give it your name. And then we bake it. Okay, so let's test and see if it works. So I'm going to pull my animation here. This is the baked animation. Um, and let's press simulate to see if the animation plays out. Animation plays out. And there we go. My whole baked animation works perfectly. I really hope it helps somebody. Um, I've been struggling with this one for a while to find an effective way to do it. And I must say, this is straightforward, easy. Um, yeah, and let me please know in the comments uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to look into. Um, so, so currently I'm just working on my own projects and as things come up and as I struggle with them, um, I try to make videos about that. But yes, thank you for all the support. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, appreciate each one of you. Thanks so much. Bye.